Good morning. This is your media report for Tuesday, September 27, 2016. I'm Sergeant Chuck Breen, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. During the last 24 hours, police have responded to 117 calls for service. We would like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations. We can be reached at 506-648-3333 or at our email, police at stjohn.ca. Or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website at crimenb.ca. On Monday morning at 9.06 a.m., St. John Police received a call regarding a firearm accident at the St. John Police Firearms Range. Responding officers learned that a 46-year-old St. John Peace officer had accidentally discharged his firearm. As a result of this, the officer received a non-life-threatening injury to his leg. He was transported to the St. John Regional Hospital, where he was treated and released later in the day. This matter is currently being investigated by the Kennebecasis Valley Police Force and WorkSafe New Brunswick. At 9.51 a.m., St. John Police responded to a call of theft at St. Rose's Church on Milford Road. Officers learned that someone had entered the main office of the church and had taken a sum of money that had been kept there. This matter is currently under investigation by the St. John Police Major Crime Unit. At 11.24 a.m., St. John Police received a call of theft from the Superstore on Rossi Avenue. Officers learned from staff that a female had taken lobster and, and makeup and had left the store without paying for the items. Officers arrested a 46-year-old female who had been tamed by the store staff. She was charged with theft and released to appear in court on a later date. At 12.24 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call of theft from Sobeys on Plaza Avenue. Officers learned from staff that a male had taken some meat and left the store without paying for it. Responding officers searched the area for the suspect but could not locate him. This matter is currently under investigation by the St. John Police Force. At 6.36 p.m., St. John Police received a call of damage to vehicles on King William Road. Responding officers learned that three males had parked their vehicles in a parking lot and had gone cycling. When they returned, they found that all the windows in their vehicles had been smashed out. Nothing had been taken from the vehicles. This matter is currently under investigation by the St. John Police Department. On Monday evening at 10.54 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call of an assault at the St. John Regional Hospital. Officers learned that a 20-year-old female patient had assaulted three nurses. This matter is currently under investigation by the St. John Police Department. This concludes the St. John Police Report for Tuesday, the 27th of September, 2016. Have a good day and be safe.